Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, guest speaker, ladies and gentlemen, and fellow graduates, good morning. A couple of weeks ago, I received a phone call from the university wanting to know if I wanted to be a valid Victorian. I thought to myself, I already considered myself a valid Australian citizen and Queenslander, but why not add valid Victorian to the list? I had no idea what one was, but I knew I wanted to be one. A quick Google search came up with, did you mean valedictorian? And then it dawned on me, I would have to give a speech. So I'm nervously standing here to this morning, feeling humbled and honored as we all reflect upon our university experience. I am overwhelmed by what I have accomplished and I know I have gained more from my studies than what I set out to achieve. If you ask yourselves, are we the same people we were before undertaking our degrees, I think you would all agree we are not. I am confident, open-minded and committed to lifelong learning. When the youngest of my three children started school, I finally figured out what I wanted to be when I grew up either a registered nurse or midwife. So I enrolled as a mature age student in a Bachelor of Nursing. Things were pretty hectic, but I managed my time well in between school drop-offs and pickups. Many weekends were spent researching and completing assignments whilst being constantly interrupted. Me time was a thing of the past. I found myself juggling appointments and engagements to maintain relationships with my husband, children and friends. I was determined to succeed. I would visualise a framed portrait of myself wearing my mortarboard gown with testament in hand and that image kept me going. Every graduate here today has had to make sacrifices and worked through their own challenges. We have had to learn how to balance family life, friends, work and busy lives to remain focused on our studies. At times, our family and friends have had to deal with us being anxious, cantankerous and disinterested, and we are grateful for their patience and understanding. We may not have said it at the time, or on each occasion, but we thank you because your support and understanding has made our educational journey possible. Thank you for proofreading our assignments and listening to us rant as we desperately edited our assignments to meet what we thought were ridiculously low word counts. We know it hasn't been easy for you either. But as we sit here today with our testimonies in hand, we know our loved ones are just as proud of us as we are of ourselves. We should be proud, exceptionally proud, of what we have all achieved. On behalf of the graduates, I would like to thank the university staff, particularly our lecturers who have been approachable and willing to help. They have been dedicated teachers and their passion for sharing their knowledge has fired our motivation to learn and persevere. While we may not have always received the feedback that we imagined we deserved, what we did with that feedback was what was important. Do you remember how amazing that feeling was when you received your marks only to find that you had surpassed your expectations? Thank you, USQ academic staff, for your unwavering support. We hope we make you proud as we embark on our careers committed to making a positive difference in society. And fellow graduates, where would we be without each other? Through blood, sweat and tears, we have laughed together and cried together. We have been each other's sounding boards and counsellors. We have formed lifelong friendships and now some of us will be fortunate enough to leave study and work together. While I was growing up, a wise woman challenged me to always do my best. 
This implies 100% effort must be applied, and anything less means you are not doing all you can. It's possible you may fall short, and believe me, that is a very real fear of mine. It may take multiple attempts before you master what you set out to achieve. What is important is that you reflect where you could improve. Ask for feedback and advice. Implement new strategies and remain positive. Get uncomfortable. This means you are challenging yourself. Fake confidence if you have to, because this may actually help build confidence. Excellence is not about being the best, but achieving by doing your best. I'm excited and optimistic as we embark on our new careers. We have chosen to pursue rewarding professions in health and science, which offers many opportunities. The health industry has changed dramatically and the rate of change is accelerating. The future is rich with possibilities. Whether you choose to practice in a hospital setting, work in the regions or continue on to postgraduate study or research, there are just so many different avenues to pursue. Yet again, I am way over my word count, so I would just like to say congratulations. I wish you all the very best in your future endeavours and hope that you continue to do your best. What could be more rewarding than that we all reach our full potential? Thank you.